everyone, my name is Raiden and today I'll show you how to make an Undertale game in Scratch. So let's start. But first, before we start, I want to tell you three parts of it. The first part will be the sprite and the background. Not going to drink it sprite. I'm not going to drink sprite. It's a sprite, the photo, what we're going to use to, for our character. And the background will it'll be the background because Undertale has a very good background. Shout out to Undertale, it's a very good game. So, um, and part two, we'll do a coding of the of the game, so we can move left and right and up and down for our character. And part three, we'll do we'll test it. And don't worry, the coding will be very easy. Don't worry. So now let's start for now. So first, we need to get our sprite. We need to upload a sprite. You just go to Google and search Undertale Red Soul, and you'll find it there. So as you can see, I found my sprite. Let's go to costumes and let's uh, remove these black borders. So we'll convert this to bitmap and go to go to the bucket and then we'll click on this red thing you see on the bottom and then we can just delete all this. Now that we've done that, we can rename rename our uh, our soul. So we'll name this determination because the soul is based on of each feeling determination all right we've done that so now that we've done that now we have to pick a backdrop so we we'll, we'll paint a backdrop we have not uploaded this time we'll delete the backdrop too and then we'll um, we'll use the uh, this box thing and we'll and make sure the colors black since undertale has a black background so now we can convert this to vector and bitmap. And now you can see our soul is blended in very well with the background. So first let's set the size to um, 7 because I think, yeah, that's perfect. So now that we've done that, let's go to part 2, the coding. So the coding will be easy. So let's start. First we'll do when flag clicked and then we can do... Um, Go to X and Y. We'll do 0 and 0 for each of them. Okay. Now that we've done that, I'll tell you why you have to do 0 and 0. So if we click the green flag, we always want the determination soul to go in the middle. Because uh, that's how the Undertale game works. So now, after that, we'll go to controls and forever. Forever, then if then. And then we'll go to sensing. And then key, key, um, not space. We are going to do D for the right arrow. You can also use right arrow, but I prefer using ASWD. So now that we've done that, we'll um, okay. We'll go to motion, and then we'll we'll put change X by four. Now that we've done that, we can test if the D control works. As you can see, it actually works. So like, yeah. That now that we've done the right arrow, we, we must duplicate this. And now we can do um, with A, since we're doing the left arrow now. And this time, instead of four, we'll put negative four. I'll tell you why in the end, once I'm done with the controls. So now, we can test this. And now, if we use A and D on our keyboard, we actually can move our Undertale soul left and right. That, now that's what I'm talking about. So now we duplicate this again. Duplicate it like four times. So we must have four of these. We don't need this. So we'll we'll put this time we'll put W since uh, ASWD. Since you don't know ASWD is the main uh, gaming controls. Like if you move W, it goes up. If you go A, it goes left. If you go D, it's right. And if you do S, it's down. So we're doing W. So we go W. And then we won't do change X. We'll do change Y this time. Since uh, Y goes up and down, we can do Y. So set Y to 4. We'll set Y to 4. So now when we click W, so um, I might have made a mistake again. You know, scratch is very hard also to code it's actually very easy for my coding but sometimes you make mistakes that's true 
So actually we must use change y by 4. So now let's test it and now when we press w we go up. That's nice. So now we'll duplicate this again and then put this down. This time let's stop this and now we'll put s for, for down. And now we'll put change y by negative 4. I'll tell you why now. So we test it. As you can see we've done our controls and that's lovely. Now we can move our character. So now once you've done that let me explain to you uh, what each controls are. Like so like change x by 4. x is basically left and right. So like if you put 4 like it'll go it'll go right. But if you put negative 4, it will go left. And y is up and down. It will go up and down. So if you put y by 4, it will go up. But if you put negative 4, it will go down. So now that we've done our coding, we must also put this. Go to looks and put uh, change size by by 7. Since if we click the green flag, in case in case if you put change our size like like that, if we put it like that, it will like, change the size by 7. So now that we've done our coding, we can test out the game and see if it works or not. So let's start. Actually, it works. I'm, I'm happy. So let's press W and ASWD. Everything works. As you can see, the coordinates are changing as well. Since, since every time you move the character, the coordinates change. So you can move if you push, push W, it goes up, S down, A left, D right. So now we've completed our coding. This is only part one of the video. So part two will be coming out anytime. So bye everyone. Thank you so much for watching part one. Bye.